caps lock. Why would you steal art? Question mark. It's a fair question, and one that Ron Rich has been asking himself since last Friday. I, I suspect somebody had, had some immediate needs, and they probably turned it in for a small portion of what it's worth. Rich owns a greeting card business. Prints his own greeting cards and announcements with antique presses. Recently, he also started selling antique typewriters. It seemed that people were using them in the store pretty regularly. And so he had an idea. He put two typewriters out in front of his store with a sign, Public Typing Station. All right, spelled grateful, Gert F. <laughs> Anyone can come by, sit down, and type a few words. And people have been enthusiastically using the typewriters. It feels different to write on one and has almost a certain aesthetic to it. Some people are saying they're they're getting divorced. Some people are, um, you know, revealing kind of personal things that maybe they wouldn't reveal to, to anybody else. No backspaces, no autocorrect, just words on paper. This is like you, you write it and it's, it's, it's there. But last Friday, the typewriter Utopia was no more. Back from a few errands, I noticed one was missing. One typewriter. Rich put another one out to replace it, but on Monday, someone took that one too. It's deplorable. I can't stand the thought. Rich agrees, but rather than give up on the public typing station altogether, he just replaced his honor system with a cable and a lock. Tied him down and you know, it's not, it doesn't seem quite as, as free uh, and liberating. Because the whole idea was that you can think and write and leave whatever you want here. It's a very Portland idea, and to have it rudely taken away can provoke a very Portland reaction. Thieves! Rubbish! Rubbish, I tell you! Ah!